Welcome to the Phoenix Empath Intuitive. We sometimes give our light and energy to people who will never see our worth. And sometimes we have to take our power back by using affirmations, visual inspirations, and meditations. I am here to give you motivation on how the past is always our teacher. Please do me a favor and like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through. Purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you work it on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me and got my six, mean and have my back, because I have yours. Thank you, and I love you guys. Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts you rock with me, got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. I am going to pull from the Stargazing Oracle because we just left a full moon. Saturn comes out, discipline, slow and steady, delays, text, practicalities, mature, self-control, limits, endurance, structure, and traditions. And then we have Gemini and we have Mars. Um, yeah, opposition, Mars in opposition, the 12th house is here. My 12th house is in Cancer. Hmm. Poor me. Um, right before um, I took this off my wall, this is my chart. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, my 12th house is in Cancer, which means family. So um, also my Gemini, I have Jupiter. My Gemini is in Jupiter, Mercury, and also Lilith. Um, I have issues. Hold on one second. Let me help my nephew. Okay, yeah, so... The 12th house um, is where my cancer is at. Um, I had to help my nephew. Um, but yeah, the 12th house is where my cancer is. And so when they say 12th house is healing, unseeing realms, subconscious minds, solitude, karma, forgiveness. And then um, we also have um, limited beliefs and spirituality. So, um, you know, it says that also in the 12th house, a lot of people that have cancer in their 12th house, are, are very family oriented meaning in the queen of uh, pinnacles energy when it says a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life protected care for them no matter what that no matter what can be toxic when it comes to um doing and trying to heal help um or whatever so this is why uh the gemini energy comes out you have to be able to be um you know like have um what is it two sides which we do we have our good side and we have our bad side which is not bad it's just our protective mode side but we have saturn here and saturn is your work work at ethic so something about your discipline so unsteady the delays that have been happening the tests the practicalities the maturity having self-control and limits that have bless you limits that have been there and the endurance and the structure and the traditions that you normally will go by you had to get out of that and pull back that that nurturing energy and get into your Gemini energy, which is, you know, making the puzzles complete or fit, you know, and not just being adaptable, um, you know, also, also just understanding that you have to look at things in a, in a not necessarily superficial because superficial was here, but you have to understand why you're going through these situations in the Mars energy. Mars is how you take action. This is the fire, fight or flight mode for you. You're in fight mode right now. Um, and it's like anger, competition, fighter, leader, force, ambition, impatience, conquest, war, courage, sex, drive, and then willpower. You have to be strong in this situation right now. And that is where the opposition is at. Unbalanced energy calls out. It says mirrors, confronts, power struggles, polar opposites, and tests. You're being put to the test in this situation. And so... With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and pull from the shadow deck uh, by Maruk X. This is Maruk X's um, stargazing oracle, and this is the shadow side that I'm pulling from now. Um, you know what? No, let's pull from the spiritual journey deck to see what uh, comes out. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot when it comes to where you are right now. Um, it's hard to kind of deal with, but at some point, you have to recognize the journey's yeah, and the signs and synchronicities of why you have to get into this point because things are triggering you. 
this came out yesterday in my read self-actualization you have to look at things from what they are and where they are and from a different perspective and go from there um hold on one second let's see i'm trying to fix this it says you are on the road to achieve your full potential understand your core strengths and use them to your advantage and so that is your strengths is to nurture situations but you have to put that loving energy into you now let's see let's pull from the shadow deck to see the energies that's been around you or that you had to learn from because it has the dark side of it uh the downside shall i say not dark the downside of addictive and then uh draining uh dealing with addictive energies codependent energies and the draining energies that they cause but to open for shadow self hold on one second okay so yeah when it comes to the addictive draining energy that you know you have dealt with um you become overwhelmed you become harsh and you start to be angry and you start to look at everything that's been triggering you so all the buildup that has happened over the years and all the signs and synchronicities of this last buildup or this last issue <laughs> starts to trigger you and that's when you start to look at the self-actualization and how you do things when it comes to your 12th house you know and so that is the hard part about it you want things to be a certain way you want to be able to love unconditionally but at some point you're too open it says think before you speak consider your words and the potential consequences they may have because if you open your mouth to a situation where they, you're dealing with takers um, and when you're dealing with people who you know take your kindness for weakness then they'll turn around and you know all of a sudden when that buildup of all of the people who've done you wrong comes out then you start to growl at people and then you become um, you know exhausted by others by unloading their issues you know everybody that unloads their issues normally you're the empathetic one but everybody that comes to you um you start to um deal with more energy vampires because you never dealt with the first um energies that you should have dealt with and that's when you start and learn how to set boundaries tax freeloader taxi and freeloader so you're always dealing with people who you know are takers 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 and the addictive energy is codependent you're trying to fix those energies. So it says you cannot heal in the same environment that made you sick. It's time to protect your energy. And that is when you start to protect your energy from the addictive, to toxic energies, uh, people who, you know, will do anything or are adaptable to, you know, your, your stuff because you're so open and you're not even understanding that, that their potential, that the potential that you see in them is toxic. And so... They have to get over that toxicity first, and that might not be your job to do that. I'm pretty sure it's not your job to do it, but again, you have to do what you want to do out of this situation. But when we, when, when you take control of your life, the universe will work for you. Resist and overcome your bad habits. So bad habits or codependent habits, and so it could be anything from alcohol. It could be all kind of addictions that you go through, but this is probably to a person, place, or thing. Um, could be a job it could be a person could be a love interest it could be anything and it could be drugs and alcohol too you know we, but we have to get help we have to figure out the ways uh, to get help that we are comfortable with and so that is how I see this energy um, you guys I don't know why when I download my videos and the um, editing software why they've been coming out very low um, I had to turn my volume up I could still hear it, hear it and it works right without the um, affirmations at the end and the beginning. So I might just put that in there depending. Um, but yeah, this is the archetype deck. So we're going to see the types of energies that you've been dealing with or the energies that's been around you. The mysterious one and the gateway lover. Boom. All right. Oh, there's one more. The fool in love. Yeah, here you go. So you're just a fool. You know you in love. Rest in peace, Tina Turner. The rusher. Often rushes into relationships, has a hard time being single, eager to feel a sense of connection. Is that you? Is that why you're too open? Is that the actualization that you have to have? Is that when it comes to your 12th house, you want everybody to be considered family, friends? And it's fine. Been there, done that. I'm not judging you. 
I will never judge you because, again, I've been there. I understand what it's like. Um, I understand what it's like to be in love, to be a, a mother, to be a, a friend, uh, to be um, somebody who is a giver. I understand all of those energies, but and I also understand what it's like to be a fool in love. So I'm never going to judge you, whether male or female, again. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, you know, but this is the energy that we're in. We're recognizing the signs and synchronicities. It says the universe is communicating to you through numbers, symbols, and other signs. Watch for them as they hold a deeper meaning for your life. So, again, you are looking at everything and have an absolute, a, a self, self-reflected uh, type energy, a reflective type energy. Um, this could be about a person, a mysterious one. It says they naturally emit a mysterious vibe, attraction, attractive and very hard to read often leaves others guessing others guessing but not you that could be the gemini energy the mystery of a gemini because nobody really knows it's the gemini in me got split personalities it's dr jekyll and mr high with me i guess i'm a provider g those are the triggering energies because here it is you already know but you try to look and see the potential you see that little kid inside of this person who makes you a fool in love and it says again they fall deeply in love will go above and beyond to prove their love love has often made made a fool out of them and that's how you feel but the gateway lover is a gemini energy or is a mysterious one it doesn't have to be gemini i'm just saying uh, my little is, is in gemini so there you have it i'm like at a point to where i get angry when i feel like there's no balance there right um, perfect from something, excuse me, perfect, per, <laughs> perfect, but something is missing, prepares you for your true love, helps you heal and open your heart. So this person is going to help you heal because they give you no other choice because they keep taking, taking, taking the opposition, unbalanced energy, right? But you're the fool in love respectfully it's okay you know we learn the lessons from our past right you rush into things and you might be the fool in love rushing into things is not rushing into things like um like um oh i was gonna lie and say ariel but ariel i was okay i should say bail you're not rushing into things but you might want things to go your way and you might think it's better or the grass is greener on the other side, and that might not be the case for this situation. And so, therefore, you have to realize that sometimes being a fool in love uh, comes with a lot of lessons, a lot of lessons, and being the giver comes with a lot of lessons as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from, where is it called? Let me see. Um, it is called Grounded in Love. I'm going to go ahead and pull from that, and then I'll pull from, the breakup oracle um to see where the energy is i just have to find the card deck huh so i keep getting these card decks confused because this is grounded in love right where is it and this one is the same color but then i have another one that is um the same color but a different deck as well so I was sitting here looking at it and it was right in my face. So there you have it. Let me see what other one. It's the grounded in love. The other one. Let me see if this is. No, this is not the grounded in. Yes, it is. This is the grounded in love. The win at love deck is what it is. And that's the reason why um, I don't know where it's at. But I thought this was the win at love deck. And this is the grounded in love deck that comes out. So let's see about the mysterious one and the gateway lover you know the one is perfect but missing something yeah they don't know it, they're missing a lot and you know you can continuously be the fool in love or you can figure out how to get out of that yeah because this person gives you false hope and it feels convenient um you're standing in your relationships out of convenience because starting over seems like a dreadful task so you hold off um on leaving them take or resonate no respect is here it says there's times when you feel well you when when you will feel disrespected and that doesn't have to be a deal breaker but if it's a repeated pattern perhaps it's time to walk away false hope it says a false twin flame will lead you on will lead you on 
and tell you that they feel the same way about you only for you to discover later on that this isn't the case all of this is karmic energy um if you see the right here these these um fire whatever flames are all black normally they are uh purple which is i think soulmate energy this is twin flame energy um or this is this is tw uh karmic slash twin flame energy and this is uh twin flame slash soulmate energy and um where's the the red one i don't know if there is a red one but again this is why i say that there is all this is the karmic situation and this triggering you so you have to realize something different um i don't even want to pull from the messages of the heart because there's always been already been so much false hope here that is not worth pulling from. Um, I'll pull from the breakup oracle because it seems like you might be in separation with this person um, or there might be a message. And then I'll pull from missing you. See, these are the, the messages that you really don't need to hear right now, but unintentional. I'm never, I never meant to hurt you. I'm not who you think I am. You already know that, but there is no respect. They probably are missing you, but again i don't want to give you false hope in regards to anything changing i'm not sure because we haven't even pulled tarot here but we see exactly what it is and so again you have to get to a situation to where you understand where you are and where you fit in this situation and sometimes it just doesn't work um the best thing you can do is work on yourself that's the reason why i'm gonna pull from the um uh, finance deck i don't know what it's called but it's the money deck i want to say but i'm gonna pull from here to see what you've been working on um or see what yeah the artist yeah you're creative um yeah this is what can be triggering you growth yeah expect a good expect good news and money matters a raise or a new job money will soon start flowing to your business promising opportunities await so when you start having actual uh, a realization that you are a creative and that this is stopping your creativity and it's giving you false hope you know then you start to focus on finding the beauty in in your day to day life the artist can be a photographer painter film graphic artist or web designer if you can make a living with your art full time um full time part uh start part time just to get started and so that is what you are doing the growth and that's why I say you got to thank these people. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson. I'm actually going to pull from the love deck when it comes to your energy. And then I'm going to pull from this deck, which is like a yin and yang, the, the upright and the reverse energy to see what comes out for your person and go from there. Um, yeah so i'm gonna use this uh again upright reverse and so uh to see about your person because i mean we are doing a read about the energies that are around you and even though it might be unintentional but you know because they realize that they are missing you but again it's like you have to understand that there is no respect there there's no respect in this situation and whether male or female um whatever resonates the thing is is that your person yeah your person knight of cups yeah is not growing because this is in the reverse they're not growing there's no growth there and there won't be any growth until they realize knight of cups energy always follow your heart it'll never never lead you astray because it knows things the mind can't explain and then it comes with the tower energy yeah so you've already this person is 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 in its feelings they really are missing you and they're going to follow their heart but this is something that has already happened you know it just started to end and so this part it's not on fire yet but it's starting to so they're trying to look at things from a different perspective they have to take anything that they can grasp nine of cups energy and that is the uh pick at the last pick of the barrel if that's what you say or how you say it because you're not in the situation to where you're even putting any energy into this energy uh, into the situation nine of cups 
in the reverse. But again, you know, there, yeah, you walked away. You walked away. Um, and this has not been, this is just recent. It hasn't been a while since you've been off the island. You just got off the island. And that's the reason why you escaped the fire. But again, uh, if you didn't escape the fire tower in the upright, right? You're just like, I don't care about any situation. I got to get out of here and be creative. So they're left to deal with whoever's left on the island. And in the meantime, you see the beauty, but they see the beauty in you. And so you're you're flourishing and they're like, okay, what do I do here? You know, I let uh, cancer off the island. Hold on, a cart fell on the floor. Okay, I, left, I let cancer off the island. And now I'm wondering if I should take a risk to go to cancer because this is stubborn energy here, you know, king of pentacles. This is somebody who is not willing to take a risk in the reverse. And this is somebody who's thinking about taking the risk to find cancer. And so the false hope, again, is it, you know, intentional or unintentional? And are they really missing you? Um, I'll pull one more card, which is nine of wands energy. They know you set boundaries. You have a protector. They're looking at it like somebody else is there helping protect you. And, you know, in the meantime, you know, they're, they're, they're not lazy about it. You know, they're, you set the boundaries and you have guards and you are, you know, you've guarded your heart and therefore they're here to protect you. Uh, the people that are around you, or this is even your energy because ten of swords energy, you know, they know that they did wrong. You know, they're reflecting, you know, they're, they're reflecting about the way that they stabbed you in the back. And now they're, they're, you know, they're being analytical about how to come towards you, even though they know it was, un they stay in there is unintentional. They're trying to figure out ways to get back in your good graces. But that's why they're sitting there thinking and they're like, well, maybe I should do this. You know, maybe I should do it that way. And then soon they will get in a situation to where they're like, please just take me back. Take me back, baby. Take me back. <laughs> take me back, baby. Take me back. <laughs> and you're like, no, I know what caused my sadness, right? You're like, I know what caused my sadness. And it was the dark, toxic energies. And so instead, you're just flourishing. You know what I mean? So that's kind of how I see that. And you have the clarity. You're not cutting yourself anymore. You know, you're not going into a dark place anymore. And so, uh, yeah, you're, you're, look, you're pouring into your own cup and you're, look, here it is in the reverse. This is how it was. You know, you were getting sand, nothing coming out, but now you have the water coming back. Your wings, the Phoenix wings, right? You rise from the ashes. That was the temperance. There's balance there. And so there you have it. When it comes to that energy, let me pull tarot, this tarot for you. All right. So, yeah, I just I just believe that, you know, they they think that there is someone else. Look at that card that came out. They think that there is someone else. But the happy news is happening for you, you know, because you, again, changed and understood what you understood the assignment, shall I say. Right. And so, yeah, the tower, the assignment was to end the things that no longer served you because you'll always find shelter no matter what the situation may be. You know, things happen and you can either run from it or you can learn from it and you choose to learn from it. But you'll find shelter no matter where you are in a situation and whether male or female, you know, you're just in a situation to where you have to understand the unintentional energy of this person uh, cause you. Page of Cups energy. To see opportunities in different places to be optimistic, right? Page of Cups energy, you know, you, you, it caused you to look at things from a new light to understand that, you know, their, your creativity and having new beginnings and seeing the synchronicities again are why you did what you had to do and go from there. And then, uh, when it comes to being optimistic, I said that star energy, you're just like, you know what, but that's what I had to do. That's what I had to do for myself. And you're happy. You're, you're receiving news left and right. There was a situation to where, yeah, you didn't set boundaries and you, you know, were like okay with the unknown. You were okay with the back and forth, the 
the mysterious energy of this person. You were fine with that and you didn't have any boundaries. You sat up late night, nine of swords, yeah. You sat up late night, two nines in the reverse. You sat up late night waiting for this person. Let's show you on the upright. Waiting for this person to come. You know, having anxiety. Like at one point you were like, are they going to come? Oh shit, they popped up. You know, like you were waiting at one point. It was welcoming with no boundaries, right? Um, I'm sorry. This was welcome, you know, not welcome. Like you didn't know whether they're going to come or not. Nine of swords, you know, so your anxiety. Oh, shoot, I didn't do this. I didn't even get in the shower. I didn't even wash my hair. I didn't even do this. I didn't even clean up. You know, this is how you were. But this is when you started to set boundaries before you walked away. You were able to have a, a restless, uh, a restful day and be able to plan. And nothing is like coming unannounced. And, you know, that's where you are now, you know, like. No more anxiety, you know, but at one point when you didn't have the boundaries, oh, sorry, that's why they went in the reverse. When you didn't have the boundaries, you were just like, oh, my God, I don't know how to feel. At one point, this was googly for you to this part when they just popped up. It was OK, but you realized that it was causing you anxiety. Now you're just like, nah, not anymore, you know, and so um, that is how I see that energy. When it comes to what you had going on, yeah, you are the emperor now. You're stable. You know, you're stable. And the happy news comes with you having stability and understanding that things happen and you have to be, you know, things that are unexpected happen, happens, but you have to be aware of everything that goes on moving forward. And that is how I see that. Let's pull from the four agreements and then we'll let this old energy go. Yep. Always do your best. At the end of the day, you've done your best in this situation. Take your life and enjoy it. And that's what you're doing. You're you're creating a stabilization about yourself. You're taking action. You're realizing the triggers that things cause you. It says you are alive, so you your life, uh, excuse me, you are alive, so take your life and enjoy it. You were born to, with the right to be happy, to love, and to share your love, just to be to take a risk and enjoy your life it is all that matters. And so that is what you did. Now let's go ahead and pull from the crystal deck. And, oh, two cards came out. And I was going to say stay tuned for the affirmation, uh, which is might happen, might not. But I will click the crystal deck up there at the top. And I'm even thinking of putting an affirmation um, on my page uh, when you click in there. So. Um, this is the Lamar, Laramar, and the Antigorite, throat, third eye, and crown chakra. Nurtures, releases, and soothes. The Antigorite is heart chakra, creativity, release, and truth. Uh, and it says, I see the truth in everything and everyone. That's why you saw the truth in this person. You saw the potential, but that has to come out of them. They have to learn to heal. The Laramar says, I am calm and I embrace change. So the change is happening. You're not going to let things trigger you anymore to where you start spewing madness and taking action, like ready to fight and blow up things respectfully, right? But you are going to win this fight and this battle when it comes to dealing with these types of situations and types of people because nobody really realizes who you are until they really piss you off. And once they piss you off, it's over with, you know? It's over. When they piss you off, it's just like it means war, you know? And so that's the reason why I say, I'm trying to look and see where my Mars is. My Mars is in doo -doo -doo -doo, Taurus. Yeah, my Mars is in Taurus. Yeah, so that is where you are. Stay tuned for the affirmation. I love you guys. Actually, let me say it. I now let go of worn out conditions. Of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.